Hey people, um, I never actually did a video before, so I hope I hope it's good. Uh, so I just bought the the new Mac, Apple Silicon, uh, MacBook Pro actually, and uh, so I'm trying out Minecraft because I'm a huge Minecraft uh, fan. I don't know. So okay, so I you know I saw some videos uh, sh uh, showing that it does work on the Silicon Minecraft. But what I was most curious about, and it didn't, and like none of the videos answered that, um, is can it run shatters and mods? And the answer is yes, guys. Um, so Java installed, so okay, so before anything, I had to install Minecraft obviously, then I installed Java, and finally, um, it, it looks like it's running native. I can show you a little bit of, uh, I don't know how I can play this, but as you can see, um, here is a. Sh I'm using the Sildris uh, Shadows. If I show you in the Shadows folder here, um, so this is the the the, the default enhanced um, shaders uh, or shaders. I don't know how you pronounce that. English is not my native language, by the way. <laughs> uh, anyway, so so this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool, and I'm running this. Um, native resolution, so I didn't even have to drop the real the resolution a little bit. Um, obviously, oh, I keep hitting that key. Obviously, you need to install Optifine for this. Um, so just to prove that it is silicon, uh, if I go in the Apple menu here, about this Mac, I don't know if you can read this. Here it is. This is the Apple M1. 16 gigs of RAM. Um, this is precisely the one terabyte uh, model. But this is just to show you guys that uh, Minecraft Shatters mod uh, does run on this. Um, although it's, it looks tricky uh, to the only one so far that really worked are these two here, uh, both from Sildris uh, Vibrant Shatters. And only the, the enhanced default really runs well. If I change this to the other one, it takes a while, it lags a little bit, and then I'm getting only 1 to 2 FPS. I'll skip that a little bit because it's going to take a while. <laughs> Alright, so we are back. Um, so as you can see... Which yeah. So, anyways, the the other the other shatter uh, actually crashed, uh, unfortunately. So this is the only one that really works for me now. Um, you can see my uh, shadow here, so um, it does work. Um, what else can I say? Yeah, the FPS. Okay, so how many FPS are we getting here on native res resolution? Let's check this out. It is about 42 FPS, and I'm not even plugged in. I'll show you. There's no cable attached to my Mac right now. Um, this is all from the battery, battery power. The M1 is awesome, truly. Anyways, <laughs> uh, so about now, okay, 45 FPS, 46. Anyways, um, and this is with Shatter's Mod, with Rosetta. This is very impressive, very impressive. Anyways, um, Although it is playable for me uh, on, uh, you know, native resolution, I kind of like to go here in the shadows folder and turn this down a little bit, render quality. 0.7 seems okay. Now I'm getting a full 60 FPS. This is, this is, it, it. I'm I'm a guy I uh, I had before this is Surface Book 2 with uh, GTX uh, 1050 and this is this feels actually better um, for the same uh, resolution even if it's under an emulator this is this is amazing this is awesome anyway so thanks for watching I'll leave uh, the link to this shatters in the comment um, as I say this is my first video so I just <laughs> I'm not, I don't think I'm a video guy, I just really wanted to show you this uh, for Minecraft fans and people who had the same questions as I had 
is it possible to run um, Minecraft Shatters on the uh, M1? And this this is the MacBook Pro, but you know the MacBook Air has the same chip, so you should have a very similar performance. Um, and I'm not hearing the fan at all. The fan is not on. The fan is off completely. Anyway, so this is uh, this is it for me. Thanks for watching. See ya.